From the greatest station in the nation, slamming the best jabs. It's 6.15, and just about that time, gentlemen, you should be in position. Well, Rico and Kevin, are you ready? Good. Stay in position, and don't try to be tricky now. <laughs> I know you two pretty well. Let's get ready for the countdown. And when the music starts, so do you. How's it going, fellas? Don't think I've got you now. <laughs> Keep giving it all you've got. have to tell me. A predictable, inevitable tie, as usual. I'll be waiting for you two at the Mirage to get the big news. Now for more music on the greatest station in the nation, B-97. Another day with B97 and Jam and Jay Champagne. Many of you are dragging yourselves out of bed while others are just getting into theirs. Well, hey, that's life. And to you, this is Jay Champagne. Wishing you sweet, sweet dreams full of beautiful women. And especially if things didn't go right last night. Put your sister's breakfast right back down on that table. You think this is a time you should be coming home? You lead a hard life, my boy. It's not good for you. Yeah, I know, I know. And when you get to be my age, you'll be old and decrepit. Have some breakfast, too, please. Hey. It's ready, Nancy. Good morning. 
Oh, are you still pissed because Dad's angry at you? Kevin, I'm awake already. And so early in the morning. Good for you. But you haven't shaved. I had an annoying night last night. But I think I'll go back to bed. Well, maybe you should go to the doctor. Pains just have a way of coming back. Come on, honey, it's late. We gotta go. Dr. Johnson will be waiting for us. Bye, Mom. Morning, Rico. Oh, hi, Mr. Hanson. I'd say that you didn't get much sleep last night. Looks like you burned it up again. At both ends. Nancy has responded well to the treatment. I would say that uh, she's over the worst of it. I'm gonna make the next appointment in a month, and if things go as well as I think they will, we're gonna stop the treatment. That's great, honey. Before too long, this is gonna be on ugly memory. She will have to be careful, though, won't she, doctor? Naturally, but... Uh, she needs to do lots of exercise in order to uh, uh, and regain the strength in her legs. Could I go on with my dancing lessons? Sure you can. The important thing is not to push yourself too hard. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in a week. Oh, I'm sorry, in a month. What is it? I need half an hour to check out the bike. Okay, but hurry right back. There's a lot of work to be finished. Okay, you got it. I'm just gonna wash my hands. I decided that I want to have a big job. From here to here, like Cher. And I to here, like Madonna. Dr. Johnson said I could continue my dancing lesson. What? This is great news. And you waited till now to tell me? What do you say if we ask Carol if we could come over two or three more times next week? Still weak. Don't forget that you're lucky that you can dance again so soon. Don't you think it's a little bit too much? No. The important thing is that my parents don't find out. Too bad. The redhead's our producer's girlfriend. I saw right away that she had some money for the right strings for her. I don't know why they didn't have these plans. They have to make it look good. Hey, hey. Sorry to get the part. You should have been chosen. I think so too. I guess it's just not my day. Perhaps not. I might be able to get the choreographer to put you in as a substitute. Really? Of course, he might not accept, but uh, with your help, I might be able to make him change his mind. It doesn't interest me, thanks. But no thanks. You want a ride? Depends on your 
intentions. My intentions? Uh, to take you wherever you want to go. Get to know you. Hell, have a good day. Hands for myself, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I bet you're not from around here. No, I'm here for an audition. I'm a dancer. All right. I knew there had to be something good about this day. When I'm down. Listen, uh, something came up. No, no, no. Nothing serious. But I need half the day off. Nothing I can't handle. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Mason. When I was your age, there wasn't a ball around who could catch me. Why? Because they all ran away? Don't you believe that? So, what do you think about the dance contest? I know Rico's group's gonna be there. Mmm. It would be too easy to snatch first place right from under his nose. You think so? Mmm. You could be sure. One way or another, we're going to win. <laughs> All right. Yes. From the best station in the nation, that was Disco Dance. And first person gives me a call at 558 Tell me the title of this song. It's two tickets to ride. Come on. Yeah, the telephone is ringing. Yeah, it looks like we have a winner. I'm sorry. But so you didn't win again, huh, Harry? Give me another beer, Billy. I want to drown my sorrows in booze. How about painting tab first, man? This is not the time. One day, I'll be rich, and I will load you down with money. You have to explain that to the boss, man. But I don't think they understand. Everybody, are you ready? This is Myra. She's going to be dancing with us in the Hot Steps contest. Right. Oh, yeah.
Body work on that model over there? She must be new. I've never seen her before. Neither have I. You bet I would if I had. Hey, if you cover me with Joan, I'll pass the attack. Just for fun. Then it's your turn. Okay, pal. Nice. How the usual? Lots of ice. My name's Kevin. Mine's not. You're not so witty. Only with people like you. Modesty apart. You know, I'm not only nice. Sure, you're intelligent, you're handsome, and above all, you're a jerk. 
Hey, maybe you don't understand who you're talking to, baby. I'm the one who makes the sunshine and the rainfall around here. Is that right? What are you, the special effects man? You can start by taking your hands off of me, then go bother someone else. Is there a problem, Myra? No problem. Kevin, and I thought I might miss you. Should have known it was you. And now that you know, back off. And if I don't? I'm bored. Let's go dance. Bartender, another drink. <clears throat> Please. Contest as individuals. We have to be awesome if we want to win. Or do you want Rico's tribe to beat us? Of course not. But maybe what we need is a serious choreographer here. You're right about that. Just take five, okay? Shouldn't you be studying? Well, I just wanted to ask you if I could join your group for the Hot Steps contest. What? Not you two. Today is not the day. Why not? What's so strange about it? My teacher says I have talent. With all the money you pay, I'd like to hear her say anything else. I can do it. You just ought to be quiet, Nancy. I, I can do it. Come on, Kevin. At least give her a try. Come on, Nancy. Show us what you can do. Make room, everybody. Nancy is going to show us how to dance. Take notes. Come on, Nancy, do something. What's got into you? You'll see. After she messes this one up, She'll never bother you again. Don't take it so hard. It was only a joke. I know you're a really good dancer. You know that if you were my girlfriend, your brother would let you join our group for the dance contest. Forget it. There's no contest in the world that's worth it. Is this it? No. If you look again, 
you find something else. That's the receipt for the repairs on your motorcycle. Naturally, I gave you a discount. And what am I supposed to do with this? Spend wisely. Upstairs warming up for you. Oh, you will? Oh, yeah. You're right. She's a show-off. I'm sorry. At a few unexpected expenses, but as soon as we get our hands on that hot steps contest money, I'll repay you everything. I promise. Yeah, I know. But in any case, your money will solve my problems. Is there something wrong? Unfortunately, yes. But I don't want to bother you with me. Come on, let's go. Going? I'm not in such a hurry to get there. at the Mirage. They took me and I begin tonight. Oh, well, the idea doesn't exactly make me faint with joy. Let's get things straight. We're not really a couple yet. We've only known each other a short period of time. So don't spoil it with stupid jealousies. Okay. Okay. Forget I said anything. What do you have? Uh, cranberry and stuff. Nancy. Hi, Dad. What is that mess all over your face? Nothing. I put some makeup on. Oh, how long have you been going around made up like this, Nancy? Dad, I'm not a baby anymore. That's what you think, Nancy. Now wash this stuff off your face and go to your room. And put on something a little more suited to a young lady. Just, just go on. Kevin. Kevin. Son, I have a suit outside the city, so I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. Now, you're going to have to be the man of the house while I'm gone. Okay, don't worry about that. And do me a favor. Look after your sister just a little more. I mean, the girl's got her head in the clouds. You remember how, how we all suffered when she was sick, and I just don't want her to have a relapse. You better be careful. Those girls can get you in a real mess. Yeah. 
Take care. Okay, don't worry about it. All right. Hit, baby. I think so too. I've already received several proposals, and the night has just begun. You just love to make me jealous, don't you? Why not? Rico, I didn't know you changed jobs. Well, you must make more money this way. What the hell are you talking about? Playing Big Daddy to pretty available girls like her. <laughs> At least I don't earn my living the way your mother did. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you should have told him that. I'm sure Sean didn't know he was a bastard. Yo, fellas! Chill out, man! Come on! What you think you're gonna do if you bust this place, yo? the consequences. It's a good thing he's out of town. You're not going to tell him, are you? They sure took their sweet time letting me go. I try to get in advance and pay back everybody. But now I, I have enough time to get to work, and I need to be on time. Oh, I better drive. I don't want them to stop us for speed.
good idea. Good day, Mr. Wig. I trust you have what I came for. I just need a little bit more time. But I'm sure I'll be able to pay you. Oh, no, my dear. I'm tired of just talk. More than three months have passed, I've seen only the crimes. So next time I see you, it will be with a few of my associates. To close the school permanently. I couldn't help but to overhear it. I'm sorry. I would have preferred to tell you myself. I might have to close the school. If it's only a question of money, I could get you some new students. A lot more, say. That's sweet. I'm grateful to you. If you want to get out of debt, there is a way. What way? I really want to be in the contest, but I don't belong to any group. Tell her. And find somebody else. You tell me who. And plus, she's capable of leaving me out in the cold for months. You always come just at the right time. You know, I haven't changed my mind. Oh, for shame. I came here to help you solve your problems. And what's that supposed to mean? Keep it up, Joan. You look great. I agree. And if it's okay with you, we could start tomorrow because we really gotta get hustling. Tomorrow then. Great. Bye, little sister. You really had a good idea. You don't like my little brother, do you? I just met him. Don't worry. I can't stand him either. <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, this is unbelievable. With as many dancing schools as there are around here, you happen to be dancing the same school as me. Yeah, right, Kevin. And you expect me to believe that this just happened by chance. It's crazy, but it's true. find themselves out on the street. Goodbye rehearsal. Goodbye hot steps contest. Bye. Yeah. OK, Ken. So then it's true. 
There's nothing I can do about it. Kevin went and talked to the owner of the school. He promised to give him all the back rent I owe. In exchange, she wants the gym for him and his friends all month long. Son of a bitch! What did you want me to do? I could refuse to give them lessons, but I would have to close the school. No, it's not fair for you to lose out. It wouldn't solve a damn thing for me either. Well, Rico, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Slamming the best jams, always with Jam and Jay Champagne. Don't forget now, we want to stay tuned for in a matter of minutes, we'll be giving out a pair of tickets to the Mirage. You want to keep it right here on B97. And don't forget, the countdown has begun for the hottest day of the summer. That is for the Hot Steps Dance Contest. Remember, you have less than 24 hours to sign up. Are you waiting for someone to call you? No, I want to beat them all to the phone. Who? They're about to give away the tickets to the Mirage. And, of course, we are here right here at BN97. Jay Champagne with this hot summer's day cut. And this will definitely quench your thirst. It's on the top of the charts and it's been there for only one week. Well, there won't be any rehearsal today. And none tomorrow. Or the next day. We've been kicked out. What? Oh, what the... No way. What happened? Come on. Sean and Kevin, those bastards. Man, they play dirty. They tricked us. So now what do we do? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We're better at dancing than they are, right? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Anyway. It's not going to be worth a damn unless we get some rehearsing in. We have a winner. Fair tickets to the Mirage. Sorry for everybody else. Damn. There will be a next time. So keep it right here Again. on the station at Slam's Best Jam. B97. What's happened? Why all the long faces? You're a hypocritical uh, jerk. What's got into you? Are, you? are you crazy? Crazy, maybe. Stupid? No. Man, what the hell's wrong with your sister? I don't know. She's slightly hysterical. Mm, maybe she needs a boyfriend. Down boy. <laughs> She's just a kid. Oh, you think so? I wouldn't be too sure about that. What's wrong, Nancy? Dr. Johnson said that you have to be calm if you want to get all well. It's not easy with my brother being such a jerk. You mustn't make so much of it. He's not a bad boy. It's his age that make him make so many mistakes and the company he keeps. He does everything he can to make my life miserable. He creates problems for me. Don't take it so hard. Every age has its problems. In a few years, you will smile at the problems you have now.
give you lessons to help you improve. And I want respect and attention. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Now, have I made myself clear? to me. Better keep an eye on Sean. Man, if I had a dance partner like that, whew, you have nothing to worry about. So why don't you take her away from me? wasting time? Our collector capital comes to $38 and a few cents. That's enough for a few drinks, and that's it. Well, there must be a solution. I've got it! We can continue the rehearsals evenings at the cemetery! It's not what you think. Where I work, it's an auto cemetery. Huh? great place where we can continue to rehearse. Nothing can stop me from teaching outside the school. I was sure you would. Wait, hang on, Nancy. Your brother told me that you've been very sick. Why didn't you tell me? I'm well now. Just the same. You have got to be careful. A relapse could ruin everything for you. Please don't tell Rico. I don't want to give up the contest. All right. But you promise to take care of yourself. And don't do too much. Hi, honey. Could I stay at Lisa's for dinner? So we have to study for a test tomorrow. Well, okay, but be sure and be home before midnight or your father will be angry. Okay, okay. don't worry. I'll be home early. All right. I want to remind you that it's just a few days until the contest of the year, the Hot Steps Contest. And now for the last number of the day, right before the news, I have something really hot for you here.
Hey, got some big news, Kev. Yeah, I found out where Rico and his group are rehearsing. They're at the junkyard where Harry lives. Not only that, a little family surprise as well. Get the rest of the group together. For a little rain dance. doing here? Everybody out. I don't ever want to see you here again. You tell that little chicken shit Harry when you see him, that I'll deal with him later. Now get out of here. Sure, you've been out studying for the big test. Drunk. You know, I would expect anything of you. Not that you hang out with them. I mean, think of Dad's feelings. Who's gonna tell him? I am. Since when did you start worrying about me? Since when I realized what bad company you keep. Now they're good people, and you could learn so much from them. <laughs> you gotta be real convincing with Dad. I don't think Dad will exactly be thrilled about the police incident the other night, will he? All right, he has this weakness for you, but that little number will not go down well. Wait a minute. You can hang out with whoever you want, but remember, you're still my little sister. <laughs> the fact that Joelle has no reason to act like a little bitch. Don't you think you put us all through enough? You're a jerk. Right. 
There's nothing really wrong. It's only the beginnings of a cold. Nancy, you've got to be more careful. And I warn you, no two of the force. You need patience, tenacity, and lots of time. It's just as to push too fast. So, hey, how did it go with Morrison? I didn't even want to talk about it. You let me stay on by the skin of my teeth. What a risk we took. What is it with those guys? Man, they're on our every move. If they're scared, that's what it is. Right, and now we're back to square one. So let's go for a swim. You know, let's get some clear ideas. You coming? Nah, I had enough clear ideas last night. Go ahead. I got another uh, phone call to make. All right. Good luck. Let's just say it's disloyal. You talk to me about disloyalty? Yeah. You have really got a nerve. Yeah, but I pay well, don't I? Wait, let's get things straight once and for all. You bought the gym for the month, not me. Don't tell me you're gonna let your sister have her little revenge. Where's the Kev I used to know? What do you want me to do? She'll tell my father everything, and then there'll really be trouble. Feel free. Bye bye, Gold Cup. Mm. I know there must be a way. You know what they say what goes around has that nasty little habit. Gosh, I would love to ride one of those. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Hey, everybody. Stay away from us. It's not a very warm welcome. Anyways, I just came by to say hi to my sister. Hi, Nancy. Thank you very much, sister. So, uh, Myra. How would you like to go for a ride? No, I can't. What's the matter? Is Rico going to get mad at you? Rico doesn't have anything to do with it. It's unpleasant company I can't stand. What a bitch! <laughs> I can't believe you took advantage of our friendship. 
I didn't do anything. Then why wouldn't you tell us that you're Kevin's sister? I wanted to. I was afraid you would have sent me away. Which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Is it my fault if Kevin is my brother? Why do I have to pay for his selfish behavior? I like being with you. I like being with you. Dirty trick Kevin played on you. I should have expected it. I know that sneaky Sean is behind it all. Thank goodness Rico's still gonna let us in the group. We have to get his trust back. How? I don't know. Maybe if we find a place where we could continue to rehearse. It won't be easy. You saw what happened at the auto junkyard. Doesn't your father own a car showroom? You don't mean Why not? Yeah! Morris residence. Good evening. I'm Lisa's mother. May I speak to my daughter? She's out in the guest house studying with Miss Nancy. I'll call her if you like. No, it doesn't matter. Just tell her I'm going out with her father and I'll be back around midnight. Don't worry, madam. I'll tell her. Who was that, Lucia? Wrong number.
enough for tonight, guys. I'm so tired. I got three hours sleep last night. I can't wait to go home and get into bed. Aren't we going to the Mirage? Oh, no. If I don't get any rest, I'll be dead tomorrow. I'm not tired, and I don't want to go home. You mean you can't give it up for just one night? Why should I? I want to go. You don't think you're being just a little bit selfish? Maybe. What about it? Nothing. Go. Listen, don't make me chase you, because if you do, I'm going to let you go. Hi, honey. How's the studying going? Fine. I'm gonna go to bed now, though. I'm tired. Okay. Good night. Good night. So it's when did you keep sweetie your Lucia? Lisa's mother telephoned. Really? And you better tell me what's going on now. You're alone tonight. Didn't your mom ever teach you to mind your own business? I don't know why you don't like me. Could it be because of that face you've got? Real cozy and three. Come on, we'll have a little fun together. No thanks, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. You're lying. You know you want some company. If I were you two, I would start moving off. Hey, get the hell away from her, right? Now what's a nice young lady like yourself doing at this time of night? Don't you know it's dangerous? How much did you pay those two? I don't know what you're talking about. They were too frightened to do anything bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, if we want to establish friendship between us, you should know first off that I can't stand liars. Do you think I'm stupid? No. You made me do it. It's the only way to get you to take a ride with me. I want to get to know you better. Where do you want to go? Anywhere where we can get something to drink, but not your place. Did you just get in? Yes. Jealousy aside, did you have fun? It was okay, I guess. Am I going to see you at the beach later? I don't know.
boy, you should you treat yourself well. It's all to Dad's credit. So, have you thought about my proposal? I really don't want to talk about it. I would never betray a friend's trust. Besides, I'm dancing with Rico in the contest. But with me, you have more chances of winning. Well, that remains to be seen. Besides, I can be a good loser, too. Oh, Nancy. What are you doing here? I was just passing this way. I just thought I'd drop in and say hello. Well, I'm glad you did. Even if you haven't seen me at my best. I don't want to keep you any longer. I better go. Well, how about a Coke? This car. Fellas in a hurry. Yeah, well. Well, looks like you have a few other interests besides dancing. Yeah. What can I do for you? You need to have a look under the hood. Well, it's doing something funny. You know, beautiful women are a lot like engines. They're full of surprises. And that girlfriend of yours, she's a real heartbreaker. You had not to leave her alone so often. Anything can happen. Well, girl gets bored and, well, she might decide to go and take a dive or two in a good friend's swimming pool. Well, one thing leads to another. What are you trying to say? Me? Nothing. You see, I'm not in the mood for joking. If you have something to say, you say it. Otherwise, you lift your butt and you go bother somebody else. You think I would betray the trust of a good friend like Kevin by telling you that a certain pretty girl went to visit him? You know Kevin knows about women. By the way, your cylinder block, it's cracked. Here. Kevin, leave him alone! I don't permit such goings on in my house. Just who is this? I don't know, Dad. He came in here and he attacked me. That's not true. Kevin started it. N Nancy, just go to your house and, and stay there. You want to tell me what's going on here? I don't know, Dad. He's crazy. Oh, stop pretending to be so stupid. You started right after you took my girl. Look, you. 
You better get out of here, I'll call the police. Don't worry, I'm leaving right now. Where's Nancy? She's in her room resting. I just left her there. When she gets up, tell her I want to talk to her. It's just a scratch. Well, it's better to clean it. You never know. Thanks. Does it still hurt? No, it's fine. I was talking about Myra. Oh. No, Myra. With Myra, it was just a physical attraction, nothing more. You didn't love her? Oh, yeah, I suppose I did. But it was just sexual. I'm sure you wouldn't understand that. You're just a kid. You know, what worries me more now is the contest. Without Myra, I can just give it up. Well, I might have an idea. Would you like to come with me to the Mirage tonight? Will you cover for me? You got it. Just me on and my max me hot when I'm on the floor with her.
Where are you going? Where are you going? I can't do it. Yes, you can. You can I can't do, do that. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You're just not yourself. You can't give this all up now, okay? Go inside, bring yourself out. I've seen it. I know it's in there. Just go get it and bring it to me, okay? Hello? Come on, you can do this. All right? One more time? Say yes. Okay. Why don't you talk to Rico about it? About what? You can't continue to subject yourself to such heavy strain. It's absurd. You're risking everything, and for a simple dancing contest. I did it for Rico. And it's just for that reason that you need to talk to him about it. You can't continue to keep the state of your health from him. She's going to be able to go on. You listen to me. I'm not going to let her screw this up for everybody now. Okay? We've come too far. Look, there's something that Nancy never told you that you really need to know. She had an accident some time ago, and the doctor told her she may never walk again. She's fine now. I think it would help if you talked to her. technical advisor that group number six is having some difficulty so we're going to go on with the show and hit it with group number seven led by Kevin. There were two boys at war and the funny thing is they didn't have to fight about it because you know guys there's enough here to go around so lay down your weapons somebody here could get hurt. me on and never max me hot when I'm on the floor with her. And so we wake up in the middle of the night. We got to run away, there's nobody's fight. Got, gotta stop it, stop it. Got, 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 gotta stop it. Why didn't you tell me? 
told me about this before. I never would have let you push so hard. That's exactly why I didn't tell you. What are you talking about? Nancy, I care about you. Your health. You're the only thing that counts for me. Man, I think I'm falling in love with you. I've always cared so much about you. Well, okay then. To hell with the contest. To hell with it. Now that I know how you feel about me, we could try. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I want to try. Okay then. Let's get you ready. You're gonna be happy? Yeah. Smile for me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Simple girl, act shoot, what you do? I'm chicken, shaking, rugged too. I'm the best, the fast, I'm here, I'm a mess, and I can't dance all night, and never get to it. Leave it down, turn the step, and it's sad, that's how I live. Well, damn, now I really wanna get a hat, gonna get a hat, so come on, girl, let me love you too. Honey, I'm so proud of Kevin. He's got good taste, even though that girl isn't good much. Little too risque to be a good wife. Try not to be too stuffy, darling. Today all the girls dress like that. And besides, who said anything about their getting married? Oh, why don't you take a break, man? You're a deaf bed, you're playing a fool. I'm a screaming at you, you're a stupid, you're a little. You can dance, you're a fit thing to I tell me what, you can't relax the way you walk, the way you talk. <laughs> you are the first one in and the last one out, the boy. You are the loser, so find the door. And so we wake up in the middle of the night. Once again, by our technical advisor, that group number six, as you know, who had the technical difficulties before, are now ready to cold kick it. So let's put your hands together for group number six getting in the mix. Rico! Time, then I follow me around, babe. 
Predictable, inevitable time, as usual. <laughs> 